As I've grown in College Pro, I've really learned the value of true leadership, where you inspire people. You hold them accountable, but you inspire them to achieve rather than order them to achieve. You get put in this leadership position that you wouldn't have an opportunity to do so anywhere else. So you realize where your strengths and weaknesses are. You can't necessarily run this type of business on your own and you have to be able to delegate it out, seek other people who are able to help you with some of your weaknesses and the things that you don't necessarily bring to the table and then be able to lead them toward what your common goal is in that business. Well, I always thought I was a good leader and I found out that might be something that I struggle with more than I thought because it's really easy to tell someone what to do but it's more of a difficult task to help them get to the same goal as you or get to their goal. You learn what it takes to get someone from being new at something or okay at something to eventually push them to be great at something. I think that's something that you don't really get from school, you don't really get in a textbook, you can't feel emotion, you can't deal with that in a textbook, and you that's what we do. They kind of throw you in the deep end, but they don't do it without somebody close by. One of the things that is, is difficult about it, that the challenge that they give you is managing other people. It's, one thing to manage yourself, but to understand different personality types and what people respond to um, so that you can get on their side and work with them um, as a team. All of those things are taught and practiced. For example, last year two of my painters are now this year running their own franchises, right? So it's like it's like seeing that uh, people see what you're doing and what you've, uh, you've accomplished and then wanting to bring that for themselves. You can't lead anybody else until you can lead yourself. It's definitely a struggle the first time you, you have to lead other people. I think a lot of Franchisees like myself made the mistake of thinking everyone who worked with us cared just as much, um, which isn't true. So you learn to empathize and see things through other people's eyes because it's very hard to motivate someone until you know really why they're doing what they're doing. Not everybody is motivated by the same things. I was really naive in thinking that, like me, other people would be motivated in money. That was not the truth. Lots of people are motivated by other things. After my first year of getting my butt kicked, I realized I'm an awful leader. Nine out of 10 employees that I would hire would quit or I'd have to fire. Throughout the season, I really developed that. And I really internalized on what it is that makes me a strong leader or a weak leader. And towards the end of the season, I really developed that skill. The amount of leadership experience that you get here, I think you can't learn that out of a book. The only way you can grow in that way is through real experience. And sometimes you're pushed really hard with that, but you deal with some tough situations, but it's what makes you a better leader. You don't really realize that you are capable of leading a group of people until you sort of take it on. I think for me, what I learned very rapidly was you have to coach people that are essentially your age. They have to believe you're the boss, and that can be very difficult. But when you break through that, it's incredibly rewarding. This past year, I had six employees, right? Two different crews running it out was just like, such a cool experience. Learn a lot of leadership skills when you have to uh, run like eight painters and a marketing team, maybe a production manager, marketing manager. Having to do that teaches you a lot, um, but College Pro also uh, like in training sessions and with your coach, you also learn a lot from them. I had 13 people working for me this year and it was just an incredible thought and leadership is the ability to you know, not only give all of that input and really help them out, but at the same time be able to take a step back and know when to let them just go on their own as well. Seeing people grow underneath your leadership is a pretty powerful thing.